What is good? We're back. Got a Woo! fresh, fresh, Ow! excellent pop. Let me get an eight something. Excellent pop, bro. <laughs> Two of your. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Speaking of excellent. Yeah, we got excellence on this show here. Jordan Addison. We're not talking about the trifecta here. I thought you were talking about us for a second. The, no, no. <laughs> Jordan Addison is, uh, you know. This this guy was a, a joy to watch. Yeah, uh, knew he would be a lot of fun. We 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 just did some Quentin Johnston. Uh, we got flowers. We got JSN. JSN. So go check all those out. Like subscribe to so keep getting these. Oh, you said and, it. You uh, fucking said it right at the beginning. Oh, excuse my cursing. We got a, we got a three star review because I know he was talking about me. He's like someone laughs too much and they curse too much too. And I'm like, man, I guess I can't have a good time around here. You know what I say? Fuck that guy. Stop listening, <laughs> asshole. He said, I curse a lot too, but I can't, walk, I can't listen to the show around my kids. Grow up their words. Teach them not to say them and when to say them. Bingo. Facts. Straight facts. Bingo. So I can have a good time? Curse? <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't church it up, pal. All right. <laughs> All right. So a little bit of bio. Jordan Addison, six foot, 175. The sizists aren't going to like him, uh, but the ageists are going to love him. Oh, Just yeah. turned 21. Uh, out of Maryland, went to Tuscarora High School. I believe I said that correctly. You did. You sure did. Good job. Four-star recruit. Uh, proposed to run a 4-3-9. I don't think that's happening. Think we'll be in the 4-4s? Four mm, I think I think it does seem pretty fast, and the short area explosion might get him to 40 yards. Maybe. We'll see. We, I just can't wait till we get to the combine. We can know everything that we ever wanted to know. I don't think it's a... I think it's going to be 4-4 four, four plus. Okay. I'd agree with that. We'll see. Pie we'll to see. The face. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. But if it is, it's just gonna going to be whipped cream. I, I once made a bet with someone about uh about a, a forty time of the combine. I once bet a Foos view that Barkley was going to run under a four four, and he, he said was I said four, under three, nine. No, it was a four four flat, and we never decided what was going to happen if uh, we tied. It's Fusu Vu, right? I don't fucking care. What Both of is. you should have taken pies to the face. Yeah. <laughs> This is the moral well, no, of that no, story. No, the loser was going to bet $50 to charity. Mm. Yeah. Should have well, both, both just gave $50, $50 to charity, you bunch of... Yeah. Who said I didn't? Find uh, your favorite charity. Yeah. Big family guy, Jordan Addison, six brothers, three sisters, wants to move them all in the same neighborhood. Couldn't find a ton about his bio. Kenny Pickett did do an interview recently where he was talking about how awesome he is, which you, you would expect that from your former quarterback, but said he never missed a throwing session, never missed a film session, was just ready to go. Pretty soft-spoken guy. He's more about his actions than what he says. You listen to him on an interview. He's pretty nonchalant, uh, sort of runs his routes that way. Won, with won the, the Bolitnikoff and kind of turned it on the team rather than taking the award, which is, you know. Yeah. Nice to, uh, which is the best receiver in the country if you don't know what the Blitnikoff is. From 2021. From 2021. That was yeah. better than Olave, Garrett Wilson, Drake London, all the guys who are absolutely slaying it right now in the NFL. He was the best receiver out of all those guys. Right. And my, can I just real quick say how awesome it was to watch Kenny Pickett again in the 21 season? Just making ridiculous throws on the move, fucking crushing it. The uh, the uh, running, the rushing. running back for Pitt was what stood out for me watching some of this. Let's so. get to the metrics, Look what the people that, really came here for. They didn't come here for it, but they're a little surprised they're going to get it. Uh, trying to get it. You know, I want to know what all these numbers are. I'm trying to. I'm, I've been really bugging the shit out of John Bauer on some on some DMs. <laughs> Being like, yo, what's this mean? What's this? How do you calculate this? Why is this different from this? Uh, anyway, so Dominator, 30%, 54th percentile, right? Mm -hmm. So he might could be great. Uh, breakout age, though. Oh, my God. 96th percentile, okay? 18.6 is when he broke out. That's a big one. That's a good one. Target share in the 69th percentile. Nice. Which, JB, I don't even know if he... He cares more about the reception market share and the yards market share than he does necessarily the targets. Like, what are you doing with the targets? So I'm interested to talk to JB about why he... A little more context ...likes what he wants. Sure. Yeah. Hey, come on, metrics people. Don't use the word context. You know you don't want none of that. <laughs> Uh, yards per reception, 15.4, 60th percentile. A dot, 12.4, ranks 36th 
from to 2022 40 time we'll see we'll see no pies to the face but we'll see if he can get under that 4-4 maybe not a little up and down on the a dot 9 12 and 10 throughout the three-year career mm-hmm. so you know not, nothing crazy but well it, it played know. it played a decent amount of slot right, right. uh 60 percent over his career average of 40 percent out wide and you know you got to get him involved in movement behind the line of scrimmage you got to yeah. throw him some screens you know some lined up a couple times the line of the backfield both at yeah, Pitt sure. and usc sure lincoln was getting pretty creative with with how he was using him uh, so we can take it to the overall stats here. Real, real quick, back to the slot. You know, overall percentage is what you know. At, at Pitt, it was it was primarily in the slot, 340 snaps out of the slot, and at USC, only 66. Um, and that's regular season. I don't know that, it, that any bowl games were. He well, if he even played. He played in. in the, he played last in the. Year. He played in the pack the Pac-12 so, championship so, game, but not a bowl. So these would be just the regular season stats. So you know. Ability to kind of move in, in and out and, and, and win. He was a little banged up this year, but but still the tape is, is right. every did. bit as good. <clears throat> yeah. I, to the fact of him being able to be out wide and be successful, I mean, you need, you're doing a disservice to yourself if you're not moving him around. Right, um, sure. But just to, to, you know, JSN has got to be completely relegated to the slot as far as people want to want to say. And Addison kind of gives you at least a little bit more um, evidence of saying we did something else and not don't know if it actually correlates to anything but watching him move around like you said the out of the backfield ucla uh kind of running that like full house package and kind of oh. delaying him and then ru- just running him down the field yeah. uh, n- they even a nice had him touchdown. i even saw him a play where he went out and chipped right it was like third and seven and he oh, chipped. fucking block he that's chipped the one thing and i really then, like um, about him uh, whipple's got, whipple's great but then you get to lincoln riley and the, yeah. just the scheme is and the, the creativity is so much you know more apparent um so you know he's a guy that you can use inside and out and just is, is an absolute weapon uh anywhere you want to put him Real quick, you mentioned getting banged up. He had an ankle injury early in the season versus Utah. It was a weird tackle. It's been happening yeah. a little bit. Missed a couple more games after that. Uh, returned to play the final four games and then missed the bowl game to rehab the injury. As you, well, yeah, mentioned. it looked like it looked like in that Colorado game he didn't play very much at all. He, yeah, one catch for two yards. He was on a targets. snap count. That was right after coming back from the injury. Yeah, that was the first yep. game back from the injury. Yeah, yep. and I they, they showed that Utah that the tackle at Utah. It looked like he got weird tackled going out of bounds. Yeah, his ankle rolled up on. Yeah. But after, then, after making but then the UCLA miss. game, he's the game after Showed Colorado. Yeah, right. eleven for one seventy eight in a touch. Right. So we'll, we'll show the the graphic with the career stats here. That twenty twenty one season standing out with one hundred forty four targets, hundred catches, fifteen hundred ninety three yards. Now this is including bowl games and postseason games. Uh, with just the career stats, when we measure him up to see where he ranked in the season, we only take into account regular season games, not bowl games or, or playoff games or anything like that, or championship games. But just just was on fire in 21, uh, 655 yak, 6.6 yak per reception. 21 missed forced tackles in 21, down to six last year, you know, and 12 his freshman year. But he can make people miss. It's really evident, and we'll get into that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then pretty good in the contested catch range, 48.9% uh, contested catch rate over his career. Um, and, and, and his – has more of a prowess in that area than you would think from a guy 175 pounds, you know. Right. Only six foot. So, you know, not – not struggle with some drops early on, you know, 10 and then 11 and, tw- and 19 and – or sorry, 20 and 21 and then only two this yeah. past year. Obviously less games, but c- kind of clean that up. The percentage was way down. Yeah. Um, so, you know – He's got he's got what you're looking for. He he's got these stats you can point to and say, see, that's why he's good. You know, you don't have yeah. to you don't have to make provisions for him or anything like that. Yeah, it's um, not it's not like Quentin Johnston where it's you know some some fine games and then some some right. blow ups. There's a a body of work with you know yeah. And and so the Blitnikoff in the 21. So let's put him up against the rest of the league in 21. Uh, eighth and Yak. Tied for 20th in Yak per reception, 17 forced missed tackles. This is not taking into account the bowl games. 120 targets, that's 12th. 85 receptions, 11th. 1,353 yards, that's 4th. 17 touchdowns, that's 1st. 2.87 yards per route run, that's 18th. And then the contested targets, 24 and 14 catches, 
That's that's tied for third most contested catches. Wow, from this dude in twenty one. Yeah, that was that's the twenty one with Kenny Pickett and Pitt, not this mm. past year mm. you know, on that right. particular. Yeah. Right. Who knows? I, I, and who I knows? chose to do twenty one because that was his best season yeah. and he was healthy and. You know, yeah. obviously Caleb Williams is a phenomenal. Oh my I mean, gosh! He's one Talk, one next talking year. about guys you enjoyed watching, geez, mm-hmm. he's like he's really fucking incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, what a what a beast. Anyways, let's take it to the field. All right, what do you what do you see from this guy on the field? Well, I mean, it's it's you know we kind of started talking about it a little bit. He can kind of play anywhere on the field. He's just he's he's a matchup nightmare, a, a tool to use at your disposal. Um, you know, like you said, the hands were, you know, had had a decent amount of drops and then really not much this year. I mean, maybe playing with Caleb Williams, you know, didn't play quite as much. The volume wasn't quite as there, but only two drops on the season, cleaning the hands up. They're, they're plucky hands. Yeah, I, um, I wrote his hands were good enough. Yeah. There's there's a lot of a lot of really good fun catches from him and, and plays. Yeah, he's good behind him. He's good in traffic. He doesn't have to gear down at all. Like, it's a very natural feeling thing. Plays plays a bit bigger with, with as far as like you know contact up, yeah. up in the air, but really as far as all the other forms of contact that could be in phase of doing running your routes and stuff and getting your hands on them, jamming them, it's it's pretty hard to get your hands on this guy. Yeah, um, Sli- slippery. He's I just forget so which, fast. So I forget quick. which game it was. One of the all twenty twos. They were trying to press him the whole time and they could barely get their hands on him. Yeah, like they could. They were trying and they couldn't. He's just now, so twitchy. We're going to elevate play at the next level, and there will be, I'm sure, some guys that know how to deal with that. But the the quickness that this guy exhibits is just it is yeah. as if it, sometimes it's as if he teleports. Like I wrote just, I right. wrote I wrote quicker than fast, but not slow. Right, which well, I, sudden. I, I would sudden I would debate the the he, I would say the the size, the weight, and the and the long speed are probably going to be the knocks on this yeah, guy. Like I, I don't yeah. the the long speed isn't necessarily elite. No, um, I don't think it is either, but it doesn't have to be. Right. He'll be in the 4-4 somewhere, I would presume, maybe even a little bit higher 4-4, but I don't really care. Yeah, I don't um, yeah. It, it 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 qualifies the threshold there. I don't it, I don't need every player to run 4-2-5. No, the and the breaks on the breaks on that he makes when he turns, it's it like yeah. it's just a very effortless body turn and then he just basically seems automatically open because yeah. it's so fast and so sudden. Well, yeah, he does such a good job um changing speeds to help right. create separation the various which is, play speed. Which I would rather have him with have that nice play speed with not comparing him to Cooper Cup, but that's something Cup does as well too, is changing his speed to be able to get to be able to separate. So that hopefully in turn is going to let him be successful longer. I mean, obviously he just turned twenty one. So I mean, right. if we can get this guy at solid levels for eight years, now the average dynasty league is about three years. So take that. That's for, all these dudes are in it for. Yeah, wow. the average dynasty league I believe is about three years. I wonder what else they're not committing to in their lives. Never played in a league that fell apart. Really? Anyways. Um, <laughs> well, we don't play in very many Twitter leagues, so oh, that's, that's uh, yeah. Which I think the the FF the FF Dynasty original page, uh, original listener league might be disbanding this year. So shout out to it, RIP. That was it's been so many years. I can't believe that thing's still going. It's a free league, uh, yeah. And I don't even pay one second of attention to that league. Yeah, it's hard to pay attention to a free league. It's yeah. the only one we got. But back to Jordan Addison. The various play speeds. Like I, I mentioned him in an interview where he's kind of nonchalant. He kind of runs a route that way. And then all of a sudden he turns on the Jets. And you're just like, once he decides to go in a certain direction, he's all of a sudden going in a different direction than you are. And he's just crossing these DBs up. Yeah. And they just can't. It's just, he's just always open. And then you add in the yak when he gets the ball in his hands. Like he makes some dudes look fucking stupid out there. Like he's just they're falling down and shit. Yeah. Literally uh, falling down. Right. The spin move is is outrageous and he just he has that prowess and and he's got the maybe not the long long speed but the short area burst, you know, it gets the job done. Similar to JSN. JSN has that short area burst or he's not going to yeah. run. He's pro- he's definitely faster than JSN, but um I think, you know, sudden is definitely the word I would use in in just how he moves. Yeah. Is there I- I don't. I'm not a. I don't have a whole lot of negatives on yeah. on Addison outside of being small size, and a, a size, and will he be durable and, yeah. enough in the league. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. I think I he'll be. Fine. That was a fluke injury, you know. Like yeah, that, it wasn't. Yeah, you can roll up. That could happen to literally right. anyone. Right. 
Yeah. I, I Other than that, he really hasn't had that. And he came back from it and looked elite again. You yeah. Know, yeah. Pretty quickly. Two games on a high ankle sprain. Which maybe I don't know. They say leg injury, and then you find out ankle sprain. Like yeah, they don't have to disclose very yeah, much. Yeah, college. college is tough with that because we don't really know what happened. I don't have a whole lot of negative to say about the guy. I mean, I think he's going to be at worst a solid player in the NFL. At worst. And in the last video, you said, would you put him at at one right now out of all the guys? I have him done? at two, but I think it's pretty close. And JSN, I think it's one. almost a toss up. Yeah. I just think that I think that JSN just offers a bit more upside for me. I see now people say that people oh JSN only played this lot. Well, yeah, he also had Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave play on the outside as well too. So yeah, and I mean, JSN I'm, played outside in the bowl game. I'm I'm that, fine that that um Olave and. Garrett Wilson didn't right. play in, so I'm fine. With that, 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 the fact this just slot thing isn't what deters me from any JSN. You know, not that mm-hmm. anything really is deterring me, but no. If he even if he just does play mainly slot, like in two wides, if he's good enough of a player, he's going to yeah, stay out there exactly. Like, for sure. And Which he's I'm, I'm, all, I'm presuming think, he's going to be good enough of as a player. And I think I think Addison, JSN, I think every guy we I think every guy we round. I think every guy we talked about is going to have good enough capital where they're going to hold yeah. value. E- even if I don't think Zay is going to be a first round draft pick, I think he's going to go off the board on the first five to ten picks in the second round at worst. So he's going to the capital. Does it really matter between thirty seven and twenty nine? No, it doesn't matter to me at all. No, no, not really. There might be a threshold somewhere. I'm sure well, there is. I'm sure there is, but matter. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Um, no, I, I would, I'd probably take right now. I, I think I'm leaning Addison over JSN, but I like all three of the the big. It's the very big dogs cl- it's that close we've gone for over. me. Yeah. I don't. I'm not down on this it, class because these guys let me down. These guys have been been a lot of fun to watch, and I think there's a lot lot to like about them. Uh, you know, maybe you could say that you don't. It's it's weak because JSN and and. Addison don't profile as maybe that stereotypical alpha one. Yeah, but those um, aren't the but, receivers we're right. seeing who well, have been sh- ha- sure. who, who who we're seeing who have been the studs, the most successful. Yeah, yeah. we're I mean, seeing Stephon Diggs. We're seeing yeah, we're seeing Tyreek Hill. We're seeing Cooper Cup. We're seeing. I mean, Jefferson's a different breed. Uh, there's, but, there's all those guys. But Jefferson's Tyreek, not. But. but Jefferson's not even. Uh, he's not that six four two thirty. No, two twenty guy. Jones. No, he's not. Uh, and there, the, there the are, league's becoming there different. are still those guys and the reason I think Quinton Johnson fits into that mold is because he he is not just a big sure. guy he, he does offer athletic upside laterally and vertically um, so you know Addison is I don't know where, where, where do you where are you putting him at number one I could easily put him at number one I think I think I, like I said in the Quentin video, I think I want some Quentin. I don't want to leave without getting a little bit of Quentin. It's too fun. We're playing fucking dynasty fantasy football. I want to take a big old swing on Quentin Johnston. But I also think you're taking a swing on Jordan Addison, and there is the floor. I get that. You don't want to take Quentin. You want to take Addison or JSN. That's fine with me, too. I think they're all in a tier. As I'm watching these dudes, I'm like, man, I know we're going to have to discuss which one I want more, and I'm going to have to put them in an order for a ranking because people love that shit. But, like, to me, these three dudes are in a tier. And t- pick your poison. What's your what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? You know, do you... What, what do you want? And they all have a little bit of something. They all have a little bit. They, they all have a, a great amount of athleticism. They all have a great amount of potential. The floor might be a little bit different. The ceiling might be a little bit different. Uh, but, man, they're all great. And, and I can't really argue with whichever one you want to take. I think I would probably have, at this point, JSM behind the other two guys. I don't really even know why. You know, I can't even really pinpoint why. But when you watch Addison, the way he moves... It tells me that he, especially in today's day and age of of the way the NFL is played, and the way he can move and get open and separate, and he can't touch these guys, and it's also it's just a passing league. You said it about Zay Flowers. He's basically like, he's basically like Zay Flowers, a better draft capital, a little bit taller, you know, like and I think maybe he's a little, little more. I think he's a little bit more refined than Zay is, and 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 I'm not saying a ton more. I'm just saying there's a little bit more. There's a little bit more there with with Addison than well, yeah, I mean, you Zay, but you're, you're also not getting that that joystick like ability that Zay has. But 
but I mean, it is. It's there. I don't think it's quite to no, Zay. I, 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 I don't. I don't think it's don't quite think, the Zay's level. I don't think so either. Um, but you can definitely see shades of it. Yeah, I think I think I think I think Zay with the ball in his hands is is better. Yes. I'm not sure we're going to see anyone better in this class, to be honest with you. But all right, it's not a, certainly not a knock on. No, Zay, it's not at all. Although, yeah. I, or a knock on Addison, but I don't. I don't think that is like his best attribute anyway. Like I don't know. No, it's I'm not. not no, know, I, I think the the suddenness and the quickness of of being able to be available for your quarterback at a moment's notice. Um, yeah, is yeah. I, I so. mean, but the yak is is I mean, strong. The, yeah, I mean, I'm he, just he from makes, wa- I'm just saying yeah. from the watching them standpoint, the yak when he catches it, I'm not like, oh boy, here we go. When Zay catches it, I'm like, oh boy, what's about to happen? Um, Fair. and it's not, not again it's not a knock on Addison he's certainly good with the ball in his hands I just yeah um, so all right well, anybody got anything else on Addison that you guys want to throw in there I think people would be down with him a little bit because of the it's, great it seems the, like he's the the great th- season he had in 2021 and then just the kind of like the the injury he had and well, you he know didn't have mean? 90 catches for 1600 yards yeah. and 12 yeah. touchdowns again so Except 16 touchdowns. Well, yeah, I was just making up, you know, making up a bunch of numbers. But you got to know him exactly in your head, Casey, at all times. He, he yeah, I think, does. I think that's, I think that's right. I just wasn't. I was just citing numbers just because he had a big year the year before. He didn't do it again. Um, sure, you don't follow up a great year. Same thing with JS Head. Yeah. You know, if JS Head does, but you're right. I do think he is right now the low man on the totem pole it seems like people like from going from you know, great like 175 though either you know yeah the sizists oh well. wait us Devonta smith's fine That's yeah all the case study Fucking you need fantastic yeah Devonta even smith. jerry judy is small too calvin ridley those guys are a slate of frame calvin ridley might be a decent comp for addison i've heard that one in common yeah judy's bigger isn't he Judy ain't um, that small. I don't, I don't. I think he's. I think he's, re- I think he's a regular size. One ninety three. Really? All right. Yeah. Well, good for you, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good for you. All Jerry. right. Fine. Fine. I'm one twenty seven. Marquise. Yeah, there's plenty of guys. We're well, good. yeah. Marquise is, is paper paper clip out there. But it fucking gets it done. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. No. It doesn't matter anymore. Times are a changing. All right. Well, we appreciate y'all for joining us. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that noty button, you know, notifications. Tell us where you got uh, Jordan Addison. Leave a comment. Let us know how what you think. If you enjoyed the video, if you didn't enjoy the video, we'll be back. I think we're going to go possibly hit some Rasheed Rice. I don't know. It's late. We'll see. See how we feel. We got more prospects coming. We're going to be doing some mocks. We got some guests lined up. Should have a good time just getting rolling, just getting started this offseason. Super Bowl is about to be on in a couple weeks, and we're just getting started. We're just getting started. I don't even, I mean, I'm going to watch it, but I, I'm more excited about these pro, these rookies than I am the Super Bowl, you know? Go Chiefs. <laughs> All right, y'all. Appreciate you. Peace. <laughs>